the one red, pour out the Jameson for ancestors to swig. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. You rescue me yet again. You put me first everywhere. You make me feel better than the mother too. Thank you for tuning to the Black Fathers Initiative of Cleveland. Really appreciate the love. Make sure you guys click the link in the bio. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Woo! And you know we do nothing here but talk about all black everything, even though that was Ric Flair. He's a white guy, but that's my guy. But uh, other than that, though, we talk about all black everything. Um, black love, black relationships, black community, black solutions, um, and just, you know, all black everything in general. So... This young lady posted something that I think that everybody should hear. Um, we definitely feel as though she broke code with this. Uh, shout out to Willie D Live. That's where I um, got this information. But yes, this young lady here is going to definitely um, have a uh, epiphany. And you know, if you didn't see this yet, check her out. Um, and yeah, let's see what she's talking about. Black women and white women are having such a hard time getting along and it starts with a story when i first started teaching i was in a teacher training program with three other women two of them were black and one of them was indian and we started teaching at the same school the same grade at the same time one of these women a black woman completely excelled she did so much better than i did at literally everything classroom management her test scores were high she was excellent <laughs> at literally everything fire and something about her excellence didn't sit right with me i just didn't feel good about it and i couldn't figure out why i didn't feel good about it it was internalized racism but i didn't know that yet oh, so i, I had did. to sit with this idea of you said her it. being better than me and trying to figure out why it didn't feel good and feel comfortable for me and of course, at the time, I didn't know that I needed to do the work of anti-racism, so I didn't think it was possibly because I could have internalized racism. Uh, I think most white people feel the same way. Like, they don't know. They be wondering why they pissed off or why they're mad at this black person next to them for being better than them. And then they're like, I'm not racist. Yes, you are. I had to do a lot of study and thought about myself and what could possibly be making me feel this way about this woman. And here's what I discovered. Most of the media that I had consumed up to that point in my life had white people as the central characters. And the shows and, and other media that I consumed that had white women at the central characters often had black women as the side characters. These black women's role in these movies was to assist the white women, support the white women, advise the white women, but never to rise above the white women. Does that sound Even familiar shows to you? That like, does that sound familiar to you? Sounds like slavery to me. Like, so she definitely needs a, a history lesson because that right there is is how they were when they were slaves. Um, when they were slaves, you know, you had your mammy, you know, that was in the house, the black woman, and she did what? She cooked, cleaned, shit. Took care of the kids, was an advisor, shit fixed around that you know fix shit around the house she did every damn thing black woman so that were about black women like the help had white women as the central character and the black women as supporting characters it's called the help. so i internalized the idea that black women were there to support me no, you internalized that idea because you wanted to. And to advise me, but not to rise above or become better than me. And that's why when this black teacher was way better and more talented than me, I felt some kind of way about it. Now, I'd imagine lots and lots more white women have also internalized the same idea. And that's why they feel okay stealing black women's content and not giving them any credit because the black women are just there to advise them anyway. But most black women are natural leaders. Society has forced them to become leaders. And so we need to step aside and let them lead. 
Even if it means checking our privilege and letting them lead us. <gasps> We've been leading, I think black women been leading white women for a long time. You guys just didn't know it. But yeah, so she broke code. But she definitely, you know, this is definitely just an epiphany for her. Um, I'm glad that she recognizes her racism and hopefully she works on her racism. That's dope. Um, and like I said, I hope hopefully more white people come out and, and realize that they're racist too. Because this whole time she probably didn't think she was racist at all. And you just inside, just burning you up, just burning you up inside to see a black woman doing better than you and, you know, excelling at something that you feel as though not even that she shouldn't excel at, you just feel as though she should be the help. Like, that's crazy. What is this? There's a, a bump on my there's a bump. Something bite me? Anyways. So, um, so yeah, so definitely, definitely see where she's coming from. Um, it's something that I, that I definitely talk to my children about early, about, um, not just racism, but colorism and, you know, stuff like that. And because, you know, unfortunately the way this, the way that our, like we raise our children, but at the same time, there's a, a system and a culture that they live in as well that where they're going to see things, where they're going to experience things. So that's why you try to teach your children as much as you possibly can before they start to encounter some of these things because you want them to be ready, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, for whatever comes along. You don't want them to be unprepared and not know what to do. So, um, but yeah, this young lady broke code, definitely stepped out the box, and, I, and we appreciate it as the black community. You know, and, I, and hopefully black, white women will see this and there may be some white women that's be like, oh, you know what? She's right. Like, you know what? I, you know what? That black chick, she is cool. But I know from what I've seen, I know a lot of black chicks that, I mean, a lot of white chicks. Well, I don't know a lot of white chicks, but it's a lot of black and white chicks that mingle together. Just put it like that. Like when I be at, when I work, when I was working at jobs, you know, it was never really always a, like a black group of women and a white group of women. It's all, you know, they've always been like mingling, at least up up north where I live at. Now, I don't know about the south. I don't know where she lives at. And I know the south, it's a little different. But uh, up north where I live at, you know, black and white women, they mingle together and, you know, and stuff like that. So, I don't know, she may be down south somewhere and that's probably why she's just now <laughs> recognizing that she's racist, but, uh, you know, you never know. But appreciate the love. Thanks for stopping by. You know, the website, www.blackfathersofcleveland.com. Appreciate the love. Peace.